guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new here. If you are new then my name is Shan from Home With Shan over on Instagram. I talk about all things motherhood, blogging, general, just day in the life type stuff. And George is here today with us and George is four months old. Can you believe it? Can you believe it George? You don't really care do you? So as you can see George is well and truly out of the newborn stage. It's insane. I cannot believe like he's a proper little boy now aren't you darling? As you can tell he is teething like mad. I cannot believe how much he's teething. He's got a little white dot on the bottom of his gums and it's definitely a tooth like you can feel it with your finger um, if you feel along his gums. He's got a little tooth coming through and he is munching 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 his hands like there is no tomorrow. Generally he does quite like this matchstick monkey teether um, which is really good because it's quite small so they can get their little hands around it and all of it's edible and everything and they've got these little nobbles on the back which are really good for holding any like gel or anything. However, George can hold them, he does reach out for them and stuff, but he doesn't, um, he can't hold it for very long. Like if he drops it, he, he won't just reach out for it and pick it back up and yet, he's not there yet. So I am actually thinking about getting one of those nubby gloves um, and I'll pop a picture up here. It is basically just like one of those gloves that has like a teething bit, a silicone teething bit where they could just put their fists in their mouth because that tends to be George's go-to solution it's teething, isn't it, babe? It is. Yes, it is. Where do you want to go? Another thing that's changed recently for George is he is so not a cuddly baby anymore. He used to be so cuddly. Everyone, he just wanted cuddles with everyone. He just wanted to lay and sleep. He's definitely not in the newborn stage anymore. He just wants to wriggle around and escape and just not be cuddly with mummy. So maybe, there you go. Unless she's given her, him a teaver and then that's obviously fine. I've just popped him down so he can have a little look up at me and play with his teaver on his own independently. When he's down like that, just sort of on the floor or like in maybe one of his um, bouncers or like activity centre thing, he's the most contented baby. It's insane. I absolutely... I'm so lucky with George. He is just such a happy, sweet little boy. Like he, he's only ever mad or angry or like cries or anything. If his teething's like really playing up, but then obviously we could just give him some of the Bongella or some of the gel or something for the teething. So that's not an issue at all. Or if he's got a wet nappy, tired, or obviously wants a bottle, which are the three things that let's face it, any baby would be angry at. <laughs> Other than that, he's just so happy. He's just laying there, got his matchstick monkey in his mouth, looking at me. Happy days. George is also sleeping through the night, which is amazing. He has kind of been sleeping through the night since about six weeks, so that's nothing new. We had a slight hiccup a couple of days ago where there was two or three nights in a row that he would wake up just from, I think it's probably a teething thing. It must be because he didn't want food. It wasn't that at all. Um, even offered him some and it just wasn't, he just didn't want that at all. So we don't give him food in the night anymore. We haven't done since about six weeks. He just woke up a couple of times um, and I popped his dummy in and he was fine. But generally he doesn't wake up in the night at all. Like I said, there were three days out of the last however many weeks, the only times that he's woken up. So I'm generally sticking to the fact that he is sleeping through the night now, which is amazing. Oh, fingers crossed that continues. Hey guys, editing Shan here. Um, so please ignore the fact that I've got breakouts galore. We move. Anyway, um, I just wanted to come on and say, since filming this, George has been struggling slightly with his sleeping. Um, and it's not massive. He's still not waking up. He's still not like really fully waking up for bottles or anything like that. He is just tossing and turning in the night a lot. And I know it's teething. I'm trying to give him gel before we go to bed. Um, and then hopefully he doesn't wake up. He didn't wake up loads last night, for example, but he tossed and turned, he had to keep plugging him back in with his dummy. So yeah, just wanna keep it real with you guys definitely not as perfect as I made out in this video. <laughs> If you haven't seen my three to six month baby routine video, then definitely check that out because I talk about George's entire routine for this age. So I'll link that down below as well. He's still sleeping in our bedroom during the nighttime in his next to me crib. So I've got the 
maxi cozy Iora next to me crib, which I absolutely love, but I think it's exactly the same as any other next to me crib would be. I don't think it's better or worse, I just think it looks nice, and it, it you know, George is, George is absolutely fine in it, he really likes it. And it's got the storage, which I quite like. But during the day, he does sleep in his crib in his bedroom, which is where we are now. His cot is right there. He sleeps there because we've got the baby monitor, and I'm more than happy to leave him in the room on his own because I shut the door, the dog and the cat can't get in, which I know would be just chaos. I can crack on and do whatever I want to do. And we have the apps on our phones that actually alert us if there's any sound or movement on in his room at all. So that's perfect. I'm very, very happy with that. He's now sleeping in his transitional love to dream swaddle. So beforehand he was swaddled exclusively, like he was always swaddled and it would just meant that he would sleep through the night constantly and it was amazing and he would have the white noise and the swaddle and he would just never sleep he would never wake up it was just fantastic so we do that now because he's getting to four months old and he will get to the point soon where he's able to roll and things like that it's obviously not safe to swaddle at that point so we are doing the transitional swaddle so he's got one arm out and one arm still in the swaddle so that he's getting used to the fact that his arms can move but he, you know, isn't startling himself and it's not waking him up too much. So eventually, maybe in a couple of weeks time, we can just take his other arm out and that will be him ready to be in a sleeping bag rather than a swaddle. That's essentially what a transitional swaddle is. One arm in, one arm out. Option to have both arms off. Basically, you have like a little zip here. I'll link it down below if you're interested in getting something like that because I think it's definitely helped with the transition between swaddle and sleeping bag. We're in a really good sweet spot at the moment. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in getting something like that. He's now had his 16 week immunizations, so that's the last one before he's one year old, which is incredible. So he's had all three of his immunizations, and I have to say the 16 week one was probably the easiest one, and I don't know whether that was because I knew what I was doing, I knew when to give him the cow pole, all that kind of stuff, um, or whether it's just that he was getting older and he had enough meat on his thighs to, to take the injections a little bit better, I don't know. But he seemed totally fine afterwards, he had just had a lot of sleep, he didn't have a fever or anything like that because obviously the cow pole kind of countered that which was fantastic so the following day we were absolutely fine which was amazing compared to 12 week immunizations they were an absolute breeze he's also really really chatty and he loves to laugh and like just chat all the time it's ridiculous so he always is making noises at us looking at our cat and dog so molly and luke our cat and our dog honestly as soon as they walk past he's like following them around the room he loves it and he's always laughing at them when they're sort of playing with ash or something like he absolutely loves it he also really loves a mirror mirrors guys honestly they're everywhere in our house and they're the best toy that he's got i swear to god the most interested he is in anything is a mirror he's actually looking into a mirror right the second as we speak on the floor and he's loving it he also loves playing on his play mat so his play mat by the way is my favorite thing in the entire world because it looks gorgeous i sit on it all the time i play with george all the time on there i can just pop him on there there's no like dog hair no germs or anything like that it's really easy to wipe down and i just absolutely love it george is always on the floor either doing some tummy time or playing with his teethers or with the muslins or anything like that he's just always doing something on the play mat watching some youtube sense baby sensory stuff whatever it might be he absolutely loves it so yeah it's one of his favorite things ever like i said earlier george has definitely started teething it's insane his cheeks are always really rosy aren't they darling always really rosy and he's always dribbling like hell either on my hand or his hand aren't you darling aren't you you okay? So that is George's four month update. Little bits and bobs uh, that George is going through at the moment. It's, I feel really bad for him on the teething element of it, but I'm sure we can figure out some stuff that can help you through it. Isn't that right? If you guys have any suggestions for teething, then hit me up down below. I asked you guys over on Instagram the other day, and actually I'll pop them up here because some of them suggestions were really really good and actually i've ordered a couple of the things that you guys suggested so i'll pop them up next to me here and me and george will bid you farewell and i'm gonna go and play with you on your little mat give you a little teether maybe some gel if you're still hurting you're gonna say bye to everyone hiya are you gonna say goodbye hey look at them rosy cheeks look at them say bye Bye! Bye! Hello! Yeah, you're such a happy boy! Okay, right, let's say goodbye. Bye bye!